Are you looking at getting the Roland BN 20D? Well, you might want to watch this before you make that purchase. How are you guys doing? My name is Stan Bates from T-Shirt Side Hustle, and I help people start T-Shirt businesses from home. Wherever you at, and we going to jump into my thoughts and things that I've seen with the Roland BN 20 at the show right after the intro. Okay, okay, let's jump right into it. But before we do, you guys know what I do to do for me. I need you to like this video, comment, subscribe, do all of that good stuff because I'm going to drop videos like this all the time. And yes, I mean all the time. All right, man, before we actually get into my thoughts on the Roland BN20D, you guys need to go ahead and watch the clip of where I've seen it at the show. So go ahead now and check it out. All right, guys, right now I'm here at the Roland booth to show you guys what you guys been hit me up about. You guys know I just recently received my BN20A. I've been working on my sticker game. It's been coming out fire, but we got to get something else to add to that because you all seen the problems I was having, trying to print and cut and trying to get it right. So I don't want to break it. I'm going to follow you guys' advice. I'm probably going to pick one of these up really, really soon here. But what you guys have wanted to see, and this one is already sold, so you know it's cool, is the Roland BN20D. This is a DTF version of the printer. Uh, Unfortunately, right now, you cannot hook it up to a powder shaker uh, because the way it prints, what it does is it prints the color, it resets itself back to origin, and then it prints the white on top. Pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be definitely, it's not something that you're going to be doing with high volume, but it's going to be something that you can actually use when it comes to uh, low volume if you're doing like full color shirts. It is an efficient way to get it done. Uh, this is the Roland BN20. It literally has the same parts. Everything is there. You got the one ink white cartridge. Uh, so I'm looking forward to testing out how the passing looks on some of these samples and different things like that. I had to call them up and say, hey, damn, man, you sent me. Don't tell me I got the wrong DTL, uh, the wrong BN20, rather. I didn't know y'all was coming out with this. So I got some emails and messages from you guys. So we got to check it out. Okay, so now after reviewing that, we can talk on a level playing field. First and foremost, let me start by saying I love 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 the rolling bn 20 a it's doing everything that i thought it would do and more i just love it you can set it forget it keep it going whatsoever now with that out the way man you know rolling you guys know i love you guys i appreciate you guys i love working with you guys and i'm looking forward to doing more in the future uh the rolling bn 20 d is a step in the right direction however it's a miss for me all right, now, what I mean by that is it's a step in the right direction is the fact that they've been able to take something like everything else, take something existing, convert it over, and make it operate as a DTF printer. All of these printers are converted using other print heads and trying to make the best out of a bad situation pretty much when it comes to using ink and doing DTF, right? So the fact that they've been able to use the rolling setup, uh, which is the BN20 setup, and create a... DTF printer off of it, I think is amazing. I think this may be a better solution for most people when it comes to DTF only because it's a system. The Roland BN20A, as far as I know, is reliable. So if the Roland BN20, when if somebody actually uses it for an extended period of time, is reliable, it'll cut out a ton of the headaches that people have when it comes to actually creating uh, DTF transfers and the machines that they get from overseas and all of that stuff with the lack of support out here. I think that could be a huge win. But overall, price that the price that it is for what you're getting, I can't quite say in the DTF market it's worth it at this current moment. The positive part of this is what they can do now that they've taken this Roland BN20 and they pretty much converted it. Now, like I said in the video, it prints. It'll print the color. It'll return the origin, and then it'll print the white on top. You can't put it through a powder shaker. That's the drawback why I think it's not worth it for the price point that it's at. It doesn't make it worth it for the simple fact that you can't connect that to a powder shaker. So it is a super, super desktop version, hands-on process when it comes to powdering it, when it comes to curing it. It's a super, super hands-on situation. And with that being said, it is not a great option uh, or, or it's not the best bang for your buck because you can't hook it up to a dryer. Now, on the other side of that, you can uh, rely on this system. Like I said, the Roland BN20 system is a very, very good system that you guys can rely on. That's a plus. 
I'm looking forward to see what Roland does next. If they add an extra print head where the white can uh, be printed slightly after the color, and that way it's doing it in one pass without having to reload and reset and do some of the things that you normally have to do. That way you can hook it up to a powder shaker and then game's on, Roland's in the game. So Roland will be in the game at that point with something that will be market changing for them and bringing them into that DTF market. So I'm looking forward to see what Roland does next. I'm not saying you shouldn't buy it if this is something on your radar. As you guys seen at the show, the one from the floor was actually sold, and I believe it because they don't want to take those machines back, and people are definitely there to buy the latest trends, uh, and that thing got spoken for super early. So, with that being said, man, Roland being 20 d is a pass for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. This has been your boy, Stan Banks. Peace. <laughs>